Hey, welcome back. So yes, it's a fact. Who you surround yourself with is who you gather your expectation from on who you're going to become and you know what is what is capable, what, what you are capable of, what, what you have the capacity to do. And I think because of the examples around us, many of us have extremely low expectations when it comes to our health, our vitality, our vigor, I mean, really life as a whole, what our capacity is what we could do with ourselves. And you know that, that tends to go down with each passing decade. So consider this, the breaking of the four minute mile, it couldn't be done. Then a guy did it. And now breaking the four minute mile is literally standard. If you're a world-class runner, you gotta break the four minute mile. I mean, that's just, of course you didn't do that. In fact, if you ran a 359 mile, you wouldn't even finish in the top 10. Is that crazy? Three minutes, 59 seconds. You're not even in the top 10. So many of us have parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, uh, cousins, friends who we've watched, you know, grow up, get older. And, you know, during that time, just kind of shrivel up mentally, physically with just each passing decade. You know, they were or they are, say, in their 60s. And they're already looking like, wow, man, are they ready for a retirement home? You know, should we look for, uh, you know, how we can make their life simpler, get them a different car to drive, you know, get rid of stairs in the house. I think, wow, for me, you know, it's, it's kind of easy <laughs> to see the opportunity in life with each passing decade and the uh, capacity that can continue on with each, with each passing decade, because I've had great examples around me. And I have plenty of patients who crush it with, you know, in their 60s, 70s, 80s. So I watched my grandpa who passed at age 90, you know, live full out, working as a CPA because he just wanted to, even, even to his last years, caring for his yard, dreaming about the future, you know, offering wisdom, you know, a little until the last months of his life, completely, completely capable. Uh, I watched my, I watched my grandmother who was still alive, 92, and continued to live, live on her own, bake desserts for my, for my grandkiddos, serve in the church, go to workout classes multiple times per week, love on humans, just loaded with joy, the joy of the Lord that is, and uh, you know, not just give in and say, I'm just gonna sit down and watch TV and, and call it good. And even my own parents you know, have set an example of continuing to move forward in life, to not just, uh, call it good, forget learning, forget gaining understanding, you know, even though they could comfortably retire, they could cash in, they continue to build their life and, and, and the lives around them and, and support my, my kiddos and be present. And at, at 71 and 68, you know, they're not cashing in and turning off their purpose just because they can. They're still dreaming. They're still learning. They're still trying to get understanding. They're still staying teachable still going to the gym, still getting stronger, learning new skills, putting real food in their bodies and, uh, you know, staying in a place of, wow, there's more to life still. Uh, I'm saying my mother-in-law, you know, who is 81, uh, day after day goes, goes for a walk, um, briskly a three mile loop and, uh, you know, continues to read, travel, teach my kids, uh, keeps a medical office in line, you know, that's just wild, right? These people are still working, still, still adding to society. Uh, my father-in-law, uh, as well, continues to educate himself even after 50 years in medicine as a medical doctor, you know, he, he maintains, uh, you know, stretching, he's playing, he's doing his strength training. Uh, he picked up the game of golf, I believe in his seventies, actually, uh, cross country skiing, uh, you know, while still seeing patients, you know, and, and looking to solve real complex problems. Isn't that awesome? And, you know, I recently met a banker who had retired at age 52, but, um, and, you know, had a lot of money could just like sell off in the sunset. But then he, he, he heard about a, an issue, um, with a particular, uh, medical treatment and thought, you know what, I think I can figure out how to solve that. And so, um, with his resources, uh, he went to go and about figuring out how to solve that. And now he's back full steam, working full steam, um, 60 years old. And he says, you know, he's been never more fulfilled than he is now. Isn't that amazing? 
because this is the deal. We are created to live. We're not created to retire, to punch a clock until we turn 62, 65 and, and call it quits. Throw in the towel and then just slowly shrivel up and decay and have our brains atrophy the last five to 10 years of our life. So we're just like the average retiree where we, you know, we watch TV for 47 hours per week, get Alzheimer's dementia, get in a, in a you know, award, and then um, pay all this money every month to some, some housing, um, retirement housing place. No, you're capable, you're able, you have experience, you have knowledge, you have something to offer, you have a understanding that is useful. But if you have to, you have to get out and get around people who are not throwing in the towel. Because if you're around people that are just golfing every day, drinking coffee and watching TV, you know what's gonna happen? So surround yourselves with people who are building up their bodies, their minds, their spirits, people who you know get up on Sunday and they go to church. They don't just sit and watch TV. People who are at the gym, you know, three, four days per week, make it happen, building themselves up. People who are, are training, you know, for a marathon or a triathlon who are, uh, you know, learning a new sport, like say pickleball, or, um, you know, they're, they're uh, learning how to pay, play the piano, or they're you know, trying to figure out some, some complex issue. Get around young driven people who have that, that zest, you know, for making an impact in people's lives. People who, uh, you know, enjoy going on vacation just as much as they enjoy showing up so that they can solve a problem that, that a person's having, uh, you know, ready for that next project, just as much as, you know, laying on the beach in Hawaii. Because really, laying on the beach in Hawaii, the way that feels so awesome is when you, you solve problems on the other side, right? So it is great to be in a space where you are um, life sufficient, where your situation doesn't necessitate, you know, you getting up at 4 a.m. or 6 a.m. and working, you know, four 10 hour shifts. But to not have a plan for the day, for the week, to not have a goal, you know, a vision for how you're going to impact your family, your neighbors, you know, people in, in your church congregation, I would say you're missing out, missing out big time. And you have been sold a, a lie of a lifestyle. You can actually be an inspiration. And I mean, I'm so much more inspired wowed, motivated, encouraged, wanting to take on the world by seeing my dad blow through a workout, you know, carry a grandkid a really long ways on a hike, um, do, do well in business than I am, you know, seeing a 20 year old lift a bunch of weights, uh, run a, you know, a, a four minute mile, show off their six pack. That's expected. Of course, the body just does stuff when we're 20 years old. That's easy. But to have strength, stamina, focus, drive as a 50-year-old, as a 60-year-old, as a 70-year-old, as an 80-year-old, and on and on, that is an entirely different story. And is why when you see an 80-year-old you know, doing backflips or doing pull-ups or learning to, learning to play the piano um, or uh, you know, showing up to the office like they own the world, I'm like, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. This is awesome. You are my kind of human. And I, I want to know and understand like, how did you become this? I wanna know everything about you. I, I want to learn as much as I can and understand what, what is the things you're doing on a daily basis to be here? Because you are way less than 1% of the population. You know, you're enabling others. You're, you're, you're breaking physical and psychological barriers, just like that guy who broke the four minute mile time and, and allowed all these other athletes to overcome that barrier. So tell me your story. Are you young and feel lost in your health, your work, your lifestyle, your family? You know, who are you getting around? Who, who are you permitting to put ideas, thoughts, concepts uh, before you? Who are you reaching out to? What are you reading? Who are you emulating? Are you finding examples of people uh, living outside of the standard? Or is it just those people that, are, um, that you're seeing are like, give me the retirement and let me, let me get that, that Roth IRA money, let me get that 401k money. Then, I'll, then, I'll, then after that, then I'll get my life together. You know, once I retire, 
once I hit 65, you know, that, that social security trap. <clears throat> Maybe you're past the 40 year old mark. I am past the 40 year old mark. And, and finding that your, your body's breaking down, your zest, you know, it's, it is on empty. Well, I'm telling you what, this is the day, this is the year to recalibrate, to reassess the voices that you're listening to, the life patterns of people that you are consciously or unconsciously, you know, allowing to kind of drive uh, your life. And let's see, hey, let's consciously follow some humans. Let's get around some humans that can take us to a whole new trajectory. So you have right now, it's going to be uncomfortable, totally challenging even, but you know what? You and I know the uncomfortable spaces and the challenging projects that we jump into, those are the ones that bring the most fulfillment, the greatest fulfillment. And you know, the greater the opportunity to inspire uh, others and those around us, you know, to go for it themselves. What could be better than doing awesome things that inspire others to say, you know what? Bam, because they did that, I can do, I can do it too. I can go, I can go for the stuff I thought I couldn't go for. I could potentially actually, you know, go show up at the gym. I could potentially actually, you know, take full reign of my dietary routine. And even though I'm 91 years old, I could go from, you know, a uh, processed food loaded lifestyle to whole real living foods, drop 30, 40 pounds and start mowing my lawn again. It's possible. I've seen it happen. So don't give up. Don't give in. Like this, share it, send it to your buddies. Anybody you know who's uh, just a little bit down in, in their, their health trajectory, not quite fulfilling their life purpose, living to the level you know they're capable of, send it to them. Talk to you guys later.